Hello, everybody. Today I'm here with three more characters in Disney Heroes Battle Mode. First up, we have the Manticore. Let's go through her animations. And I'm interested to see what she's all about. Um, I think she looks really cool, and her animations look really cool. Hopefully she'll be able to stand her ground. Next up we have... Oh, actually. Next up we have... Bunsen and Beaker, who I got very leveled up. Going through their animations. And they have the award for the longest name. I thought Gerald Marlon Nemo would always have that, but nope. Dr. Hunson, Dr. Bunsen Honeydew really took that one. And then we've got Fear, finally. And you can see I've leveled them all up a little bit more than normal. Alright, so as we've done in the past few episodes, we will try to go through the normal stages. I doubt we will make it through very far, uh, if any, and um, when we inevitably, fa inevitably fail, we will go back and um, play some of the previous levels that I've already completed so that I can actually showcase them. So, where are they at? Anticore, Fear. It's gonna take forever to find them every time. Okay. So let's see what happens. Alright, bye, Manticore. How about. So now we finally get to see Beaker. And. He's in the battle at all times, except when he hasn't used his skill yet, he's kind of just standing there. I really don't get why he's not in the main screen, but at least he's here, right? At least we can see him now. So yeah, they all died, but we got to see the two of them for a little while. So let's go a little bit. I might cut this uh, world in half. I guess not this world, but um, this part of the city. Where he's probably not going to make it on his own. Let's see what happens, I guess. Alright. I stand corrected. I'm so glad you're all sit- oh. What? I didn't even press anything. What the heck? Well, I'm sorry, but I legitimately didn't do anything. It just did that on its own. Okay. So the manticore dies very much immediately as we've seen multiple times over. I haven't really looked at fear all that much. Well, there he goes. But, uh, Dr. Bunsen Honeydew stays in the back, which does allow him to stay alive for a lot longer. And also, the beakers are dying pretty often, but they also protect him. <clears throat> so clearly there's like one main beaker that doesn't do anything. And then they have the machine there that they're cloning more beakers. Um, I don't. I, I really don't get why beaker isn't in the main menu or whatever you call it. Okay, I'm gonna go back into a different level because clearly we're not doing very well, and I want to showcase these characters quick. So how about chapter like 20? Maybe this one? Let's just see what happens like this. The man's course alive for now. She survived the first wave. Okay, but Mr. Incredible is doing everything.
Um, okay. We can try taking this incredible out and see what happens. Maybe bring in Baymax and see if that's okay. Because that way Manticore gets a shield at the beginning, which will maybe allow her to live longer. Yeah, I think this is good. Uh, okay, I'm watching the Manticore. She died, now we'll move on to... Well, I've watched quite a bit of the Beakers, actually. Um, watching... Bunsen, he really just does his animations as you normally see, and then they do the, the effects. But that, that, it isn't that interesting to watch him. You haven't seen Beaker at all, so it's more interesting to watch Beaker go out there. And it looks like the Beakers actually get shielded as well, which is cool. Um, looking at Fear, I see him throwing the helmets. He kind of just stands around quite a lot when he like pulls out his collar. Apparently that doesn't attack. Maybe his attack is just gaining the fear. And you can see that a status effect is on him right now. Or it's, it's Dread, right? Um, he has also been stunned quite a bit, so he's not doing much. But... Uh, I don't think I've seen him run across screen. Is that just something he does right at the beginning of a round? And wow, we just timed out there. But that was a good way to see what those two are doing. Unfortunately the man score didn't make it, but let's look at the mana core again. She's using her sword, she breathes fire. She's gonna die here. Oh she used her scorpion tail. And she was fully healed back probably from joy. Alright, she's sort of grown that time. And yeah I think I saw all of her main skills. She also swiped with her uh, open hand. I saw, is that a, is that a book that I'm seeing on the ground? Oh, that might be like Merlin's skill or something. I'm not sure. We get to see their death animations pretty, pretty often. So the Manticore is still alive, which is awesome. Uh, especially compared to the previous levels where she wasn't standing a chance. Yeah, so some of these levels are a lot tougher, but we do get to see them all live. I don't need to beat these levels, I just want to see them in action. Let's look at Fear a little bit more, we haven't seen him very much. So yeah, throwing the helmets is the main one I've seen. He's getting a lot of dread. There he ran across stage, and he does it very quickly. He also does that scream, which I assume just hurts the enemies. Yeah, so he runs across. That's a cool and kind of cool animation, honestly. I wonder what it's like in real time. It's still pretty fast. He gets right back to his spot in the back, which allows him to live longer than the man's core. Um, it's, it sucks that Baymax is kind of like always standing in front of what Bunsen and Beaker are doing. But they seem... State or he seems stationary, like he's always going to be in that one spot, and the beakers are always going to be going out. And we basically just want the beakers to protect him back there. But he almost died, and then he looks like he got healed. And all the clone beakers have like the hat and earmuffs on, so you can kind of you can kind of tell the difference between them and the actual one. Wait, did so? Bunsen is in the middle now. Is that, is that supposed to happen? I don't know. But we're clearly not going to beat Duke here. We can't even hit him. Um. So yeah, I, I, I think I've stated before that I was most interested in seeing what Bunsen and Beaker were all about because they're the most unique. I feel like fear and all the other emotions are kind of in the same boat. Where they all have that one status effect, they all do basic attacks besides joy. And um, they all kind of feel similar in some ways. And, and Bunsen and Beaker are completely different. And Manticore is true to herself, but also a very common character for this kind of game. Where I look at that, there are three Beakers, four Beakers now going out and attacking it. I think the max is five, we just had that. Um, that's such a unique thing that we haven't seen before. 
which is maybe why they were added in the first place, because they had this idea. Also, Beast is here, so we're probably not going to kill him. I don't think anyone has a charm or anything that can stop him from doing his white skill. But, um, Fear is one of my favorite of the emotions. And some of his animations, I think, look really weird. Uh, I don't remember what it, he looks like completely from the movie, and he also wasn't in the movie all that much. Um, but, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say, I guess. I've watched them all pretty well. I think after this one, I will go into a normal battle. Um, I, I did level them up quite a bit, and I guess Bunsen is probably the one that needs to be upgraded the least, even though he's the most right now, because of all the stars he has. But yeah, I think they're all cool. They're all unique in their own ways, and they all add characters to series that I really wanted. I, I really like all three of the characters as well, just from the style and the idea of them being added, I guess. Like, the, and the Manticore being added is really cool, and all the emotions being added is really cool, and the idea of this unique cloning ability for Dr. Bunsen is really cool. So, I'm pretty happy with these characters. Uh, hopefully that was a good enough showcase for you guys. If you want to see me go through half the chapter here, I'm going to do that right after this level. Uh, I did not go as in-depth as I usually do, I feel like, in these character showcases. But I really felt like um, they were all pretty standard, and even though Dr. Munson is pretty unique, the clones really just walk out and do like one attack. So there isn't a lot to talk about, I feel like. Okay, so we could try leaving in Munson and see what happens. We didn't win this one previously, so let's see. Uh, hopefully Baymax should get healed here by Joy. Uh, I, I, not only do I not want this video to be a half an hour, but um, I do have something to do soon. So I'm kind of on a time limit. But I think even if I wasn't on the time limit, I would want to only do half the world anyways. I keep saying world. It's not a world. It's like a section. A stage? A chapter. It's called chapters. My bad. Um, I think we're fine leaving Dr. Bunsen and them in here. Maybe I'll try and switch them out for another one of them as we go. I think I did that last time and it actually worked out pretty well. So we could bring in the Manticore or something here after this. Wait, is, is that how I showcased the characters last time? I don't even remember. I think I might have done that. That's a cool way of doing it. <laughs> I forgot I did that. So... Let's take you out. There she is. She will most likely die very quickly. Uh, maybe she'll get shielded for a little bit. There she goes. Okay. So that was pretty pointless. If we die, we'll probably just take her out and put in fear and see if anything helps. And this Rafiki is annoying. Just have to wait for him to quit healing, I guess. There's some characters in this game that when they get to a certain level, they're just so annoying. Goofy can be one of them for sure. Luckily he wasn't as leveled. Uh, Darkwing Duck is another one. Beast, I think, is super annoying to play against, but so helpful if you have them leveled up enough. There are other characters as well that I'm blanking on. I know Mulan can be good. They're just so Mr. Incredible too can be really annoying. And that shield enemy is like the one enemy that I hate. And the... What is it? I never do this mode anymore, but there's that, that one mode um, where there's a specific like boss character that you're hunting down. 
And she's really an annoying enemy when she's high leveled. How can I not think of what that... It's not City Watch, what is it? That's alright, I don't play any of the mods anymore. <laughs> I get my daily stuff and I'm out. It's like 10 minutes of gameplay for me. Um, I'm thinking of trying a new kind of series for this game where I showcase specific teams. So like the Inside Out team, or an Incredibles team, or a Toy Story team. And... You know, I can keep listing them. I know there are more. And I, I thought of more, but there's no point in me <laughs> going through all the lists. But basically, I'm thinking of trying that. I think at least the first couple of videos on it will be good. I'll probably start with the Inside Out characters. Um, and see how that does. I don't know how interested people would be in that. It would basically be like a showcase of me going through some levels that uh, the team is strong enough to beat. Or at least play through and just see how the team works together. See if anything looks interesting. You know, at the very least, you see them all lined up next to each other. Um, it, it's kind of a, a cool moment, especially when, you know, we've been waiting for the full Inside Out team for a while. And now we've just gotten them, so I, I'm interested to see what they look like all together. So I'm going to hold off on showing you that until I actually try making a video on it. And I, I last night I literally just sat down and wrote down a few video ideas that I had off the top of my head, and I already made one today, um, which should probably come out a little bit after this video, and um, I have a few more, and that's one of them, which is showcasing specific teams in this game. I thought I could do the same in Disney Source Arena as well, I'm not sure uh, if that video would do that well. I know people are more interested in seeing stuff from this game than from Disney Sources Arena, but also I might try to bring in the beast here if we don't win because that final level looked like is gonna be tough for me. And Joy died right away, which is probably not a good sign. And we keep getting Hades, which just delays the the completion of these levels. At least oh, that actually didn't take too long. What what's killing me here? I can't even tell. There's so much on the screen. Jafar probably has something to do with it. Well, Jafar might kill Beast, though. Ooh, boy. Yeah, he's sorry, Randall, but you're not gonna do it. Hmm. Let's try bringing in the Beast. He might just die immediately as well. Let's see what happens. I might need to bring in Baymax just to shield him for a second. Can you... oh, that's good. And Joy's still alive, which... oh, she's about to die. Okay, she can heal us. That's good, that's good. This might work out. Oh, Beast is charm though. Okay, well Beast died. Can we still come back? I think Jafar is the main problem. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. This is the final level for today. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I know this probably was one of the more poor showcases. And it's going to be pretty hard to showcase from now on. That's just how it's going to be. Uh, I apologize, but there's not much I can do. The levels are too hard. I don't have enough time to, and, and resources to go through and upgrade these characters just for one video. So this is doing it at the best of my ability, you know. Going through some previous levels, they obviously die, but we can still see them in action. Uh, just in case you don't have the characters, want to see them working together, any of that kind of thing. So I appreciate you guys for watching through this section as well, if you did. I know we missed the one dialogue line that we actually got, but uh, I will see you soon. Goodbye.